This is Alex Yu and you're watching the Rage and Rona Review. Some might feel that this topic is kind of off topic, but it is related and let me explain why. Okay, my, my topic is what do you consider the ideal nerdy girlfriend? Or, or rather, what do you consider the ideal girlfriend for a nerd like you? Or a geek, or a fanboy, whatever you want to call it. So what is the ideal fan girlfriend? The reason why I came across this question is because so I went on this date like a few weeks ago. We went out for dinner, but then the, I went to ask her for for a, for a movie, but it was a very geeky movie, like uh, like X Men. But everybody loves superhero movies. But you know she wasn't available. She had her own thing to do. There's a lot of superhero movies coming out, so I'm gonna ask her again. It made me think: What are the requirements for you as a fanboy for a girlfriend, other than her being hot? Because let's just say that she is hot, and there's like thirty hot girls for you to choose from and they all want to be with you but what are those characteristics that she needs to be that fits with your geeky personality let me tell you mine obviously I'm a movie buff she has to love movies she has to to think that the best thing to do on a Friday night or even any night is either watching a movie on DVD or going to watch it on the big silver screen that is a requirement talking about movies you know doesn't have to be that much of a requirement uh, because I remember one time I, I was on a date and then uh, I was explaining to her how I felt about a movie and um, and uh, getting into the whole technical aspect of it like uh, like why I thought that the the story is not logical and and all this other things like and it got really like really in depth and then she says wow you're really hardcore like, the movie was either good or bad to me, but I don't need to go that hardcore into it. So that made me think, like, ah, okay, she doesn't need to go, you know, talk about it that much, right? So, f number one thing is that she love has to love movies. Another thing is that she cannot complain about my collections. She has to understand that this is what makes me happy. For example, my DVD collection and if I had an action figure collection. There was one sentence that every girlfriend says, which a guy does not want to hear, which is, when are you going to stop buying DVDs? When are you going to stop buying toys? What if we run out of space? That's if you're living with them. What are we going to do when we run out of space? You know what? That is the one thing that any collector dreads hearing from a girlfriend. But here's the thing that will make her like the number one fangirl. Fan girlfriend rather. Is that she'll watch Transformers Dark of the Moon on the very first showing with me at midnight. If they have a midnight showing. If she's dedicated enough to do that with me, oh man, that will mean the world. So I've told you what my requirements are for the ideal fangirl friend. So what are your requirements? Let's say she's a total knockout, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 even. As a fanboy, what kind of uh, characteristics do you need from her? L let's not nitpick about like like things that we normally nitpick about. For example, oh, she's like, she's a picky eater or she picks her nose or she has... 20 pairs of shoes like things like that or she's a slob in bed you know let's not talk about that let, let, let's look at it from a from a nerd's point of view let me know in the comments section below I think it's actually a very interesting topic this is Alex Yu and thanks for watching the Rage and Rona review peace to my question for Transformers 1 was that he was actually flicked by Megatron after he goes disgusting now there was also a scene that wasn't